Hello guys, welcome back to your channel, and today we are going to be starting a new career mode, Brighton and Hove Albion. Now, right, last season, Brighton finished in ninth place, and with the team they got, I feel like they could get at least top six. So, our goal is to take them to the top, like, to the top, top of the league, and do all that stuff. So, we are here with the Brighton and Hove Albion career mode. First off, formation. Do we, this team has a, do we go with this formation? Because this team has a lot of CDM. I'm keeping Basuma in here. I'll just keep him in it since it is technically his move. It didn't go through. It said my, the game I have the most updated squads. So, okay. If I'm looking around... Okay, put Neil Mopa in there. Okay. So this team, it could use... Where is it? Hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. How old is Trossard? 26. Okay, hold on. I'm liking this. Okay, so if I'm being honest, we could use some upgrades, maybe. I think that's... I think, honestly, we could do with a better striker. I think that is where we could use some huge improvements. So, let's get to work. We have a budget of approximately $45 million to work with. We have this youngster who's 59 rated. I'm going to put a development plan on him so he can, hopefully in the future we can use him. And then, let's see. We're talking about a better striker. I think I know someone just perfect for the job. How about Patrick Bamford? He's 27. I think he would be perfect for this team. So let's scout him. Only rust. So three days we're going to get to see. I think Patrick Bamford would be perfect for this team. Oh yeah. Someone like him could absolutely transform this team. Now I'm not going to go absolutely crazy in this deal. Do we have any strikers we could get rid of? I'll just keep well back up. Oh, we have very little depth. Eight. We're gonna start off with eighteen million for Patrick Bamford. They want Alex McAllister. You know what? This actually seems like a kind of a good deal because look at how much depth we have. We have a good amount of depth in the midfield department. You know, I'm tempted to do this. McAllister. I mean. 11 million? Okay, let's see. Can we do 9 million? We do 8.3 plus McAllister, 10.5. You know what? I'm going to do this. Our formation does not include cams. It includes left midfielders. So that actually kind of works out. We get rid of him and sign Patrick Bamford. I like that. I like the idea of that. Well, I hear it's a big wage at Leeds. Let's just make it a five-year deal. He's going to ask for big wages. I mean, actually, he's taking a pretty big pay cut. And we have signed Patrick Bamford for Brighton and Hove Albion. That's a signing that I really like. It just seemed perfect. Okay, so we have, let's see. We have depth in the center back department for sure. We definitely have good left backs. March is a player I am very keen to use. We don't have much depth at fullback or a winger. So I think our next signing has to be improving, getting some depth in the winger's position. Winger's position. Okay, are we doing? 
Oh, we're doing a fourth the back, so we have to make March a left back. I just think this formation is going to work out well for us. Wait, who's in the formation with him? And Whipu. Oh, Kuk first off, let's make you a left back, March. He could be very keen. 118 weeks, it's okay. Now, left midfield, Cucurella will thrive there. He has the pace, the dribbling. Four weeks for Cucurella to, tra to transfer there. Make Tarek Lamptey right back. Two weeks, I don't get why it takes March so long. Make you a CDM and Wepu. Okay, now we have we have some really good players in the midfield department. We have Basuma and a Wempu in the lineup. We have Modere. And we have Grolf. I think we can sell Adam Lalana. What is this Simma's guy's stats? Uh, oh, Trossard. Where's Trossard? We need to make him a right midfielder. Right midfielder. Two weeks. Let's go. So I am liking the look of this team. Now, if I'm being honest, let's look at the pace on Velton. Okay, we're going to get teared apart with this pace. I think we should go for a better center back to partner partner uh, Dunk as our next signing. Adam Milana from Southampton. That's a perfect offer. Lilana has been sold. Now, with approximately 37 million, we could go big. Let's see. We need someone with pace. Who could we sign? Oh, hold on. How about this man, Joe Roden? Let's see what his stats are. We'll scout him. He looks. I could sign him, or I was thinking maybe Konsa from Southampton. But we're going to scout those guys. Okay. No, I am keeping Tarek Lamptey the entire career mode 1000%. Trostar position change. Let's get that passing up. Let's try to put Welbeck on a little bit of a development plan. We're still waiting. I'm kind of leaning more towards Joel Roden, depending on their... He's... Konsa, it looks like they're both... This Roden is just too low rated. And overall, Konsa is very expensive. So we gotta go a little bit cheaper. I wanna build an English team. Nathan Ake! Oh, he would be perfect for this team. Okay, I like the idea of Ake. See if I can find anyone else. I like the idea of Nathan Ake. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and straight up go into the deal. 20 million is going to be my offer. 
28 million. I want to save a little bit of money because I still plan on getting a little bit of squad dip. 22 million for Nathanake. 26. Okay, they're coming down. 23.8. 24.5. You know what? I'll sign. I'll take it. He is left footed. I'm hoping that. I like. These guys are older, but it's. They still. Wait, he's right footed. Yes, he is right footed. Let's negotiate with Nathan Ake. Crucial squad role. He's going to have to take a big pay cut, though, if he wants to join us. Because I'm not paying 115000 a week. $78,000. He took a decent pay cut, and Ake is in, and those are two very solid signings to improve our team. We have depth in the center back position. So we have Veltman. Put him on the bench there. We had another center back. I saw it. Oh, we have Webster. Who is a good backup. You at least you need more than one center back. So we can sell Duffy for sure. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna recall this guy because I'm not too keen on sticking with those keepers. Okay, so Sean Duffy up on the market. Because we do still have we have Webster and Veltman and Dunk and Ake. Okay, so four center backs minimum you need. Okay, so we have, we need two CDMs. So we have Grove. I like the idea of keeping him. Because we have, oh wow, we have a lot of midfielders at this club. So we have... I'm trying to think of the perfect players. Basuma and Mwembu. Okay, so we have Moder. I, I, I like that idea of using him. Pascal Grove is 30. He's not really going to go up in his overall. If we can get this... this as, I think I'm going to stick with Grove. I'll sell Cassiado for a little bit of cash. Do we recall Sima so we can add some squad depth in the wings? I think I'm going to recall him and add some, so we can add some depth. His pace is insane. I like the idea of him on the bench. So I think we're building a very good team. Cause look, we don't have many. Yeah, we have. We don't have too many options of attack. That's a good thing we recalled them. Now let's go play our first match because we don't really need. Uh, I'll keep Wall back for this season. A loan for this guy. Yeah. Sure, I'll accept it. We'll maybe recall him next year, depending on how his loan goes. He's still 59. It's okay. Let's keep going. Alza has been loaned out. Shane Duffy. We'll probably make a signing next episode again, because I don't think I don't think we need any more signings this episode. I think we've done very well with our money, signing youngsters, and we're adding a lot of depth in our team. Cucurella, oh, I'm so excited to use him. He goes up by one. Let's crank up that speed a bit. All the, I wanna 
to take up that speed. Let's do this. Who is our first game of the season? I don't... Who is Webster? No, no, no. Keep him. I want to keep Webster. He's a good center back. He's young. He'll just give us... Oh, we're facing Burnley on the first game of the season. Who is this mother? No, I want to keep him. We need a midfielder. Duffy's been sold. Now, how much does that leave us with? 16 million to maybe add some depth next episode. We're starting off the season versus Burnley. Oh, this is going to be a good game. Here we go. Let's get the win in our first game of the season. All smiles ahead of kickoff. What sort of impact? We've signed two very good players. Curious to see how our team is going to look overall. Here we go. Patrick Bamford. And Wempu. Trossard. Neil Mopai. Trossard. Oh, I see Bamford in the middle. Oh, too early of a cross. And Wempu. Cucurella. He is fast. But he gets defended by Burnley there. Here is Cornet. Neil Mopai. Trossard. Oh, we could exploit Burnley here. Come on, Taylor, Cornet, and it comes, Robert Sanchez with a good catch, Ake, We've been following the changes at the club with a good deal of interest. New manager at the helm. Oh, that's a brilliant ball for Wesgard. But it's wide. Let's get our first goal. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely feel like scoring a goal right now. And Wepu. Basuma, who's going to be very key in this career mode. Basuma here, driving on. Picks out Wempu. Neil Mopai, oh, but someone makes a foul there. Alex keeping us right up to date. Nicely cut out. Manford. Patrick Manford. There's options. M1 Poo. Neil Mopai. Basuma tries to go for goal there. Luckily, our fullbacks are very fast and they can recover. Look, I'm gonna have Lewis Dunk come over. Cornet. Oh, wow, what a goal! Ake can't defend it, and there's no way Robert Sanchez can save it. I did not expect that. That was a brilliant goal. And we go 1-0 down to Burnley. Not a good start. Let's see more of Cucurella. More of our fullbacks. Okay, this is more like it. Cucurella. Tries to go inside. Still dribbling. Cucurella. Block. And went Poo! What a goal also in our first game of the season. And it's M1 Poo. M1 Poo. M1 Poo, yeah. Let's go. 1-1 one, one versus Brighton, immediate equalizer. Let's go. That was good from Cucurella. Found the space. And one poo, the brilliant strike over the line. And we're tied versus Burnley. The goal this season for me is Conference League or maybe Europa League. Cornet. Might really be able to trouble them here. Okay, okay, okay. Calling out Robert Sanchez. Smart decision. That was not a good throw. Basuma and Wampu, who I'm very impressed with, has done very well. 
Cucurella. He he's fast. He's able to get there ahead of his man. Cucurella, and it comes. Oh, it's just cleared away. Cornet now on the attack. Cucurella. Ay, come on. Oh no, Wes Gort. Lamptey does very well as a bad ball in. Oh, we Mopai with an even worse clearance. Now Basuma. We know what he's all about. And he does very well there to pick out Trossard. Neil Mopai in the middle, it's blocked. Oh, still going, still going. Wes Gore. Maxwell Cornet. He could pick out a teammate. Cornet. Good block. It's out for a corner. Who can they pick out? Bamford there with a the good clearance. Now Cucurella. Cucurella will take the advantage. It was kind of just two versus like five. Our attack has not been functioning too great today. Cucurella to March. March. Oh. And it comes Bamford the diving header. It's out the it's, it's why. Good ball though from March. Basuma win the header. He cannot. We are yet to get a corner, so I'm curious once we get the corner, how will it go? Eric Lamptey. Oh, we get spun around there. And it comes. Oh, it's easy for Robert Sanchez. Well, they need to be more positive with their passing. Make more runs in behind the defense. Create overloads in the wide areas. And then we may see an improvement in those stats. Oh, Cucurella wins it back off of Robert. Cucurella tight angle. What a save from Nick Pope. That was good work from Cucurella. Not a bad try, though, from a tight angle. Bamford. Had a quiet debut. And Wempu, the goal scorer. Bamford. It's been a very strange game. Halftime. We're tied with Burnley right now. We need to throw in some players. I kind of want to just test the team. Let's try out Sima. Here we go, second half begins. Hopefully Sima can come on and make an impact. And Wenpu, who's been on fire in this game. He's been all over the place, all defending, attacking. Very all good all around performance. Dwight McNeil. Well, the crossing needs to be a bit better. Neil Mopai. Sima. Oh, that's good defending. Sima. Bamford! Oh, it goes in! 2 1 versus Brighton, and it's Patrick Bamford on his debut. Takes a massive deflection, but it does not matter. That is good from Seema. I like that. That is very good work. And Bamford there. It's not an easy finish, but it takes a deflection. It might even go as an own goal. Nope, it counts as Bamford's goal. 2-1 up. Let's make it 3-1. Let's put Burnley down. Neil Mopai. Patrick Bamford, he's through on goal. Bamford with the ding. Oh, what a save. First corner of the series. 
Going to be taken by Cucurella. Not a good corner. Manford nearly scored again there. Oh, I'm one. Basuma. Well, Spurs have been trying for a while to get this deal over the line, and now it is over the line, Stuart. Oh my god, is this a penalty? No, it's not. I thought it was a penalty for a sec. Tarek Lanty. Let's see what he's all about here. He's on a good run here. Here's Seema. Neil Mopai, oh, tight angle! But he puts it through the legs of Nick Pope. 3-1 up. It's Neil Mopai. That was a brilliant finish. Seema has came on and transformed this game. I'm loving it. Doesn't mean I'm going to sell Trossard, though, because I'm still very curious to see what he's all about. 3-1. Let's make some subs. Let's test out the team. Let's try Modair for Basuma. And then let's try... Let's try Danny Welbeck. Good debut from Patrick Manford. Double sub. We are all out of changes. But I, we are in a very good position. In the second half, we have stepped, up, stepped it up. Our signings that we have made, I think, or we couldn't get like better signings. They were very good signings. It just felt right. It just clicked, those signings. I knew it. They, that they were just perfect. And making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. Got a good challenge from Cucurella. Here's me. Lewis Dunk. Holes. Seema does. Oh, there's a foul. Burnley's next game is against Liverpool. Who's our next game, I wonder? Okay. Here we go. M1 Poo. March. Oh, it's not a good pass through to Welbeck. Gudemusen. Cucurella there. Well, I believe there's been a goal at Stamford Bridge. Alex Scott. Neil Mopai. I see the space to keep dribbling, so I do, but it does not work out for us. Seema. Neil Mopai. The D goal. It's a double for Neil Mopai. 4 1 up. Let's go. By the way, all of this is being played on world class difficulty. I'm liking this. This 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 is gonna be fun career mode. It's a massive lead and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Into the final Seema, oh well, these fans are starting to leave here. There's just no chance to come back now. And they're making a change. Could be a chance to break here. Mm. You know what? We're 4 1 up. We might as well simulate. Jump to result 4 1 up. That was a that was a good win. We are top of the league. Woo! Got Paul going to Newcastle for 60 million. Wow, that's big money. I don't know. We're going to keep Lewis Dunk for now. So next episode, I'm just going to talk about this before we simulate some games. I'm going to be looking to bring in some depth, maybe. I was thinking we could do with maybe another winger, as it looks like we don't have depth there, really. And I think overall that's where I'm going to be improving. 
getting some depth in the next episode. But our next game is going to be against Watford. I'm going to simulate it. Can we get the win? 2 0 loss. Wow, that's not good. How we lose to Watford that big. Next game is against West Brom in the EFL Cup. Let's rotate the team for this one. I kind of want to play it. If we can go on a cup run, that would be great. We'll start Veltman. We'll start. We're saving the big boys for the next episode when we play Everton. And you know what, well, let's even give Grob a shot. Bamford. There we go. We're rotating it, but let's play it versus West Bromwich Albion. A cup run will be key if we can get it. Make it happen. I did start Bamford over Mopai because I want to see what he's all about. So yeah, let's do it. Oh, Sima. Sima there with good work. Yes, cheers, Derek. Well, what an occasion it is for this. They're throwing. These are the games that they dream of. No doubt in there, the underdogs. If they can frustrate their opponents. Oh, that is a gift. That is an absolute gift there. And maybe even a massive surprise. Mowat. Oh my god, that was poor. We've had gifts. Or I just missed that little bit of attacking spot. This so far has been Bra West Brom giving us passes backwards and stuff. You know what? Now that I'm realizing it, we honestly do need some depth in the fullback position. Oh my god! That is a brilliant recovery from Veltman. We need more depth in the fullback position than the winger position. So I'm going to actually go for improving the fullback position because we don't have any, we're going to have to find someone, we can't have March and uh, Lamptey playing all the games. Oh, we just don't have enough depth there. Oh, Danny Welbeck does very well there. Plays it through for Passel Grobe in the middle. Oh, I should have gone for the shot. Moder. Get up, get up, Moder. Oh, it's a free kick. It is a free kick. Who's the best with three kicks? Well, no card from the referee, Stuart. Well, I think it's good referee. He's just Bamford doesn't know. Let's charge. try it though with Moder. Modere goes for the free kick straight at Johnstone. Johnston, Johnstone, I think. Sounds like Johnstones, but. Panasi. Ajay. Darnell Furlong. Just not looking confident in possession. Well back, Danny well back. The attack continues, they're making considerable progress. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Richards. Losing possession. Bamford. Could use some support here. Sima. Handball, handball. Now this time. Oh, it's March with free kicks. Our left back with good free kicks. And it comes. It's March. Oh, it's over the bar. Let's turn up the heat a little bit. I want to I wanna get a goal. Richards has it. Still passing it around with authority. No, Robert Sanchez. Jesse March. Jesse March. <laughs> That's the Leeds manager. 
March. Cucure oh, hold on. This is Cucurella going down the line. No one is stopping him. I see Welbeck at the far post. But we couldn't. Cucurella couldn't find him. Modair. Panasse. Darnell Furlong. Furlong. Ake. Pascal Grove. Oh, Cucurella, Cucurella, get there, get there. He's quicker. But Dionga's actually pretty quick himself. Yeah, Cucurella could use that pace upgrade. He is seven. He has. He had, does have seventy-six pace, but you can tell he could use it. Beltman here. Modair. Oh my God! What a save from Robert Sanchez. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. And over comes the corner. And possession given. Oh, shot Robert Sanchez with the save again. Throwing pressure here, and another corner. Now the corner played into the box. Not the best clear. Danny Welbeck. I'm liking this. Hey! Oh, Dionga. Veltman is strong in his challenge there. Sima, he is fast. Look at Tarek Lamptey here. I see him. Bamford. Still has it, Bamford. Sima. Tarek Lamptey. Oh, it looks like Wolbeck has picked up the knock. But it's okay. Modair. Danny Wolbeck with an injury. But it's off the crossbar from Wolbeck. Sima trying to dribble, but maybe dribbled a little bit too much. You just sense that the goal is coming. They're playing so well at the moment. Emphasis is on creativity, but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. And the poor touch didn't help them. Cucurella. Veltman. Pascal Gross. March. Keeps it in. Oh, wow, that was a poor ball. Stalemate, sort of, versus Brighton. Not many chances in this game. Well back. Half time. And this has not been the best game in the EFL Cup. Or Carabao Cup. But I'm going to keep the team as is. If we need help, I'll throw in some players. Let's see how this goes. Sima. Sima. Oh, he's still going. His dribbling is amazing. I'm so glad I recalled him. He adds that extra pace. A well back. Oh, it's a free kick. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but I'm going to take this. I'm going to try to shoot this low. Maybe catch the keeper off guard. Passel Grobe. Oh, it's not a good idea. It's too far to go for the shot. Patrick Bamford. He has that pace to burst through, but he goes for the shot. But it's a fantastic save from Johnstone. Richards. That's very effective. Good high pressing. Panasse. Well, Leicester fans have been wondering. Cucurella. Patrick Manford. They've got their man, Stuart. Well, it's an exciting transfer, isn't it? He'll add a lot of quality to his new club, and you'd expect him to have an impact straight away. Good player and fair value for him, I think. Modair. 
Bamford! Oh my god, what a save. From Johnstone. Neil Mopai, get in there. Let's try to do a good corny here with Tarek Lamptey. Not on Ake! Puts it in the back of the net. And that is how you score your first Brighton at home Albion goal. That was a bullet header. Keeper gets a hand on it, but not enough. And they can't clear it off. It might go down as an own goal. Yeah, it's going to go down as an own goal. But that, I would count that as an Afanake goal. Takes. Let's go. Tarek Lamptey. Oh. Come on. Come on. Let's end the episode off in, with a victory. Patrick Bamford. Oh, he has the pace to burst through here. Patrick Bamford. Why'd he go for it? Why'd he go for the cutback? Oh, let's try to pick out Ake again. We pick out Sima. Still going, still going, still going. But it's an advantage for Brighton. I mean, for West Bromwich Albion, so... Well, as you can see, the hosts have had most of the ball, but they've shown a real lack of creativity today. They need to be far more inventive in the final third if there's a turn. Hassel Grob, Sima. Oh, showing excellent vision. Neil Mopai, oh. Right to the top Super stop. Tarek Lanty. What he wanted to do with the pass. Now I know from corners that we we have some good options in there. Oh, oh Neil Mopai nearly got there. Now I'm going to test Trossard here. Bring him on for Sima. And then I'm going to bring on Basuma for Grob. Just to hold on to the victory. Well, there's a textbook example. The ball. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Trossard. Oh, just couldn't get past his man there. It's Grant. Veltman does very well. And Tarek Lamptey can keep it in. Veltman, Bissouma. And that is offside. Him here. Adam Reach. Options in the middle. Moat with the corner for West Brom. We'll see how it goes. Header! What a save from Robert Sanchez. Who has kept us in who has kept this game. Oh my god, that's a handball. I would think that's a handball that came off the hand. Oh my god. Trossard. Off their corner kick. Can we go counter attack them? Mopai. Trossard! Oh. Goes for the curling effort, but not even close, you could say. Come on, come on, come on. Furlong. Cucurella, Bamford. Possession one. Dangerous looking attack. And they'll get ready for the throw in. How about the cross? Oh my god, in the 78th minute, West Brom have equalized. It's been coming. We need to go now find the goal to get the winner. Ten minutes to go then. All even, but will it stay that way? That is out for a goal kick. Basuma. 
I think he's our only eight. Him, Cucurella. They're the only 80 rated players in the squad. The rest of the guys are approaching 70 or like they're like 75, something like that. Most of them are 78, 79. Hold on, here's Modare. Come on, use some pace, use some pace. You don't have enough there to burst through. Cucurella. Bamford, Neil Mopai, Cucurella, Cucurella, and it comes, oh come on, cleared away. Up, 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 up. Sanchez, Cucurella. Bamford, one last attack before possibly, I think it goes to penalties, doesn't it? Here's Modair. Basuma. Oh! Gets taken out there, Basuma. And it's a free kick. And could this be... This is a pretty much our last chance of the game to win it. I'm, I want to take it with Basuma. Basuma, easy work for John Stone, and it's going to penalties, I think, right? Yep. Oh, they're up first. And oh, that's off the crossbar. Neil Mopai has missed it. Grant. Oh, how has that gone in? Trossard. Trossard has missed it as well. Oh my god, this is going from bad to worse. Oh my gosh. Bamford puts it in. This is huge. We need to save this. Oh, they keep going the same way. Oh my god, this is so nerve wracking. The pressure is on Modare. Modare puts it in. Oh my god, it's now it's on Robert Sanchez. Oh, it's... oh my god, he's missed it. Oh my god, now the pressure is back on us. Basuma. Has missed it. We have been eliminated. Basuma misses the penalty. We have been eliminated in the Carabao Cup in round two. Should have gone right. Every right had been working. Johnston, that was a pretty poor penalty from Basuma. Well, we have been eliminated. Still, I mean, it's okay. I get it. We're still in sixth in the league. No, I'm going to keep Trossard. But that is going to be all, though, for today's episode. So, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like button down below and subscribe to my channel. The comments are going to be on, so write some. Bye.